Hi, I'm Asher. And I'm Brandon. And we are the La John Sawmill Animal Sanctuary located at 551 Sawmill Road in Mechanicsburg, Pennsylvania. So we have just started out a little over a year ago now, July of 2022. Ash and I have had quite a, an interesting past living all over the country and all over the world. And this was never really the life that we had envisioned for ourselves, I don't think. However, secretly the entire time, it had <laughs> always been his dream to open up some type of animal sanctuary. Originally, we thought more dogs and cats. In the most recent move, we came from Tucson, Arizona. And when we were discussing the move, he said, I'll move wherever you want me to go as long as I can have land and, and do the, the sanctuary. So we moved here in July. It took us a little while to get set up. And as you can see, we're still getting set up. But we started yeah, taking animals in March, March of 2023. So we decided to call the sanctuary the Lodge on Sawmill because while I agreed to explore this dream and do my best to, to support him and the sanctuary in any way that I could, one of my dreams has always been to open a b and of some kind. I love feeding people, taking care of people as much as he loves taking care of animals. So we decided that our first step would be an animal sanctuary, thus the Law John Sawmill, and ultimately that could evolve into also a and b of sorts. So we're hoping that over time we'll be able to build some cabins out here. Because we're a nonprofit, of course the goal would never be to make money. The goal would be to have people stay the night, love on the animals, and then any profits that we made from that would go directly back into the sanctuary itself. So a lodge for both animals and people at the end of the day. So we actually started out earlier last year than we had intended. We had a rabbit surrendered to us, a nine-year-old rabbit, who is probably at the end of his lifespan, and I imagine that's why he was surrendered. Uh, we keep him inside the house. He lives inside with our dogs and cats. He loves the dogs and cats. He cuddles with them, watches television. From there, it went on to more rabbits and guinea pigs, and then we got goats, and we raised a cow that didn't belong to us, but he still needed did some sanctuary care to be socialized and love on people. And then we got Lola. Lola was surrendered to us recently. And then we had these two sheep, Bo and Daisy, who were going to a meat auction for slaughter. Typically, we would never pay for an animal. However, the, we went to auction and we won these two and out of the thousands of lives that were there that couldn't be saved, we were able to save uh, Bo and Daisy. So while it was very heartbreaking and to endure, they're happy and I think they know that we saved them. So that's kind of the evolution. And then we went over to ducks. We got some rescue ducks and then more ducks just showed up and now we're up to 20 ducks. And then we had to buy a house for the ducks and build a pen for the ducks. So every time we get more and more, we try to build out and expand the property. So when we started out, we knew that we needed some practice before <laughs> before people started dropping their pets off ultimately. So Asher had found smaller goats on the Maryland, Pennsylvania line. So we went and picked those up and then our next door neighbors, actually every season they have a birthing season. We helped out with that and fell in love with two beautiful mini silky fainting goats. So we were really blessed to kind of start out getting some practice with our own. Shortly after that, people just started dropping animals off uh, to the point where we actually needed to put gates out in front of the property because we'd show up and there would just be an animal at our front gate. So Carlisle and Thaddeus, we got those, a friend of ours, her husband unfortunately uh, got very, very sick and they were no longer able to take care of their farm animals so they needed a good home for them. So that's how we got Carlisle and Thaddeus. They brought them here knowing that we would take care of them. And from there, the numbers just added up. Kept going and going. So behind us is the area of the property where Reese and Toby live. And Reese is a six-year-old Vietnamese potbelly. And then Toby is, I don't even know what type of goat he is. He is a Nigerian cross. And he has uh, very large horns. So they were bonded, a bonded pair. And a family and friends really needed a place for them to go. They didn't feel like they were able to provide the quality of life that they would like to for them. So they brought them here. And it's the cutest thing. I mean, you wouldn't think that a, a goat and a pig would be just besties, but they truly are. So they've been in the, the area area behind us ever since they joined the Lodge family. But they're in their own area because of those horns. <laughs> and Toby can be a bit aggressive with other animals, but he wants to be loving. So they've got their own huge pen to play in. Shortly after that, Lola joined us. So Lola is a two-year-old, smaller pig. So Lola's family had her in a neighboring town called Camp Hill. She was a little bit of an escape artist. She got out. The neighbors, unfortunately, called the police department. And the police informed the owners that they were not allowed to have a pig within city limits. So they found us. and dropped her off and she's just been an absolutely loving, wonderful addition to the family. And then most recently, Wilbur, the little pig behind us. A family unfortunately was no longer able to keep him. They call him a micro pig. He's uh, full grown and he's very, very tiny. 
uh, very, very spunky. So we're trying to get him adapted to the farm and the other animals so that he can be a part of the family. Then of course the ducks. Through conversation we had found out that not a lot of sanctuaries actually are able to accept ducks because they're not set up for them. And I've always loved ducks. So we thought, sure, why not? Let's go ahead and start seeing what we can do to take care of them. So as Asher said earlier, started with a few. And then I think the largest at one time that got added was seven. A neighbor who I believe was raising the ducks for me actually these ducks ran away and found their way into our yard they wandered up and we said sure come on in as he said earlier that takes us up to a total of 20 ducks and then of course our rabbits so you talked about cuddles earlier and then Sebastian and Oliver Sebastian and Oliver were two <laughs> two two rabbits that someone bought for their children for Easter and uh, that's just a terrible idea. People buy rabbits and uh, chickens or ducks for their, their kids or their grandkids for Easter. <laughs> Come here, baby. Come on, Bubba. And it's a terrible idea because the kids grow tired of them. One year later, uh, the next Easter, which was this year of 2023, uh, they called and said, hey, we don't want these rabbits and we weren't prepared to take more small animals at the time. And I shared that with them and they said, well, if you don't take the rabbits, we're just going to toss them outside. Well, a domesticated pet rabbit can't survive outside probably more than a night. So we said, sure, bring the rabbits to us. And they brought the rabbits to us in a small little cardboard box where they had lived for the weekend. We built a big, huge house for them. We tried to keep them inside our house, but they are pretty wild whenever it comes to the bathroom department. So we built a big enclosure for them outside and we actually just purchased another pen to make their enclosure even larger. So that's how we got Sebastian and Oliver for a total of currently at 51 animals. And ready to grow. Thank you for watching and participating. I'm Asher. I'm Brandon. We're The Lodge on Sawmill, located at 551 Sawmill Road. You can find us on Instagram and Facebook. Both are Lodge on Sawmill. Our website is lodgeonsawmill.com. You can always email us at contact at lodgeonsawmill.com or you can call us at 717-918-9088. Thank you so much for watching and we hope you join us on this journey that we're on with all of these beautiful animals. Keep on running, keep on running, keep on running, so don't you wanna do